A tragedy has befallen the world of basketball. Earlier today, at the age of 41, Kobe Bryant was killed in a helicopter crash. In 20 seasons with the Lakers, Kobe was a 17-time All-Star, two-time NBA Finals MVP, two-time Olympic gold medalist, and five-time NBA champion. The NBA and the game of basketball will mourn this loss together. Please join us in a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Mamba. Tribute to Kobe Bryant, as we've seen in San Antonio earlier tonight. These teams, respectively, will take a 24-second violation. And New Orleans, the microphone is yours. Celtics to reciprocate. And that was a 24 second shot young and his tray peels off the warm-up in honor of his dearly departed friend Kobe Bryant he will start the game wearing uniform number eight wow wow that's a great representation of Kobe Bryant that's paying homage way to go sir and the two teams and the referees have set a jump circle Hawks in red Wizards in blue and now Trey is going to hang out of the basketball. And in honor of number eight, he is going to take an eight second backcourt violation. We're going to hold this for 24 seconds. Number eight and number 24 here in Atlanta. Excuse me, don't feel like playing. It's just a sad, sad day. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Like I said, it was like a shot, man, to you. So the players, a lot of these players don't know Michael uh, or Jordan as much as they know Kobe. So they idolize him. And now we're going to give a standing ovation. And what the players are doing, this happened in the game earlier, on the first possession for each team, they're going to take a 24-second violation in honor of number 24, Kobe Bryant. The Spurs and the Raptors did it earlier today. And whoever won the tip would do it first. And now the Knicks will do the same gesture in tribute. You just think we're like, we barely getting over the commissioner. Now Kobe. And you know what, we all deal with with death to loved ones, to families and friends, and those deaths are just as tragic and they're just as sad. But but today, for basketball fans, Kobe represented the sport that we all love so much, like very few others have. His Landry Shamit walks the ball to the front court, and both teams just standing idly. In honor of Kobe Bryant and the crowd uh, beginning to recognize something special is happening on their feet applauding and the Clippers will take 
a 24 second violation to start the game. And the public address announcement in honor of Kobe Bryant, a 24 second violation. Well, the magic will follow suit here, David. This is a, a, a fitting tribute, I think. Markel Fultz holding the basketball. And uh, oh, Markel held it for eight, for eight seconds. seconds. And Kobe wore number eight yeah. early. What a great idea. 24 and 8. It's before the lights went down for the national anthem that the teams came out on the floor and went through a brief warm up. So players like the rest of us trying to process this is this will be a moment that both teams will take part in to honor Kobe Bryant as they will take the 24 set shot clock violation. And what a great honor. Uh, Kobe had such an impact on this game. Ricky Rubio is going to take an eight-second violation to represent number eight that Kobe wore early in his career. Uh, this is just a true testament of how tremendous Kobe was as a player, but also the impact that he had on these guys out here on the floor. You know, as a basketball player, you all have your impact. Older guys were an impact for me. These guys out here today's game, the guys that they follow were MJ at the end of his career, but Kobe for most of his career. That is the one guy that they fell in love with the game of basketball by watching. And so what a tremendous honor for both of these teams to execute this. And, of course, just a handful of players for both these teams who were fortunate enough to, with a sprained ankle, he missed the last three games. Damian Lillard, and uh, we're going to see both teams do what we've seen all day long here, Quinn. A 24-second shot clock violation in honor of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty good. I mean, all of the league is he's basically done a 24-second violation. As many of you know, that was his number. Some have done the eight-second violation to get it across half court because that was his number. But in great appreciation for Kobe Bryant and all he did for the league and, and, and everybody in the NBA. And, Quinn, you made your comments. I'm looking here at Carmelo Anthony, who was his teammate and look friend at, on USA Basketball. He, he, you look at him, he's having a hard time. And now it's an eight-second violation that the Pacers take. Uh, the two numbers that Kobe Bryant wore, 24 and 8, and there's yeah, Carmelo. And I'm looking at Carmelo. He's having a hard time, as am I. Yeah. Reggie! Jackson, Jackson! From the land of Kansas, the one-time Jayhawk, wearing the Detroit 19, it's the 6 8 please, but I lose. From the south of the Sudan, at four, still wearing the Detroit 7, at 7 foot one, Paul, make make there's Detroit forward from Bronx. Say hello to number 45. You'll be wearing the same boo, 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 ya, boo, ya. He yells for money earning Mount Vernon, P.I., the Huskies of Connecticut. At 6 11, Ward to the rim, New Grove, Z Road, Andre. Head coach of your Detroit Pistons. Say hello again. Well, as you can see, it's time to ball, y'all. Tonight, we all mama. John and Eric, it's all yours. All right, thank you, Jax. Our officials tonight, Brian Forte, Tyler Ford, J.B. DeRosa, and each team, as every team has done since the tragic death of Kobe Bryant, each team will take a 24-second violation to begin the game. Kobe, of course, wore number 24 and number 8. Some teams have also taken 8-second violations in the backcourt, and the Magic may do that right here. The 
us all began with the first game played yesterday after news of the tragedy spread. San Antonio and Toronto did that. The rest of the league, for good reason, has copied. He's battled relentlessly, and through those formative moments in Team USA basketball, Bryant continually encouraged OKC's players through competition to take their crafts to the next level. All right, thank you, Nick and Michael, as we get set to tip off this game. I think it's just really still hard to process what actually took place yesterday. Absolutely, and I, I think I, I kept thinking, okay, I'm going to feel better this morning uh, when I got up, and, and I didn't. You know, it resonated on me, especially knowing Kobe the way I did, you know, my family uh, being neighbors for six years. And then you realize that there was such a, a humanistic part of him post-career. Uh, you know, just all of the, not just the numbers he did on the court, but all the things he did off the court, introducing, really opening up China basketball. Well, you can see Dallas here is going to get an eight-second violation in honor of Kobe Bryant, who for the first half of his career wore the number eight. And we expect Oklahoma City to have a similar pay of respect here in what will be a 24-second violation on the shot clock to honor number 24, which Kobe wore the second half of his career. And this is something that we saw teams and players do yesterday in the games. Of course, after the news broke, saw it in the array of games, and Kobe had such an impact not only on the game itself, but obviously on the players who have to go out there and play, and they want to pay their respects. And as these games have to go on, because I don't look at it as being still in the game. I just think you got to outplay this team. You got to out hustle them. You got to got you got to work them. And the Kobe tribute continues. As the Bulls will hold, as they win the opening tap, they'll hold the ball for eight seconds, signifying the number eight that Kobe wore early in his career. I think the Spurs are going to do it 24. Said that Spurs will hold it for 24 seconds, signifying the 24 that Kobe wore later in his career. I tell you, man, it's a remarkable tribute from throughout the NBA, throughout the world. And Kobe touched a lot of people outside of basketball. And very rare do you see a guy dominate at a professional level as an athlete and then go off the court and do the same thing. I mean, he won an Oscar. He's a, he's a, he's a, a best-selling author. Best-selling author, won an Oscar in his first try. Uh, and as you pointed out, saw this Kings team was a double overtime victory. It was not a well played game. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's not going in the Naismith Hall of Fame. It was the ultimate non clutch game. Meantime, the Timberwolves they win the opening tip and they're going to not even possess the basketball. They're going to just let the shot clock run out. I would guess now. And, and it's right at the spot where Kobe Bryant passed Michael Jordan. So Andrew gets the honor of putting it down where Kobe Bryant. Scored those two free throws, Dave. And you're not a shot clock violation. They don't advance the ball, so an eight-second violation. Exactly. So teams doing an homage to Kobe in both ways with the eight-second violation as well as the 24-second violation. And now the Kings will return the favor and let the shot clock run out in 24 seconds as the crowd applauding the gesture by both teams. It's a great moment, great tribute. And again, putting it back down where Kobe passed MJ on that memorable night back in 2014. Luke Walton, a great teammate and won championships with Kobe Bryant. It was a really difficult day for him. Home record in the Western Conference, 18 and three. Houston starts this night 13 and 10 away from Houston. Oh, well, they need to jump. This might be the smallest starting lineup that's ever started in a ball game. Now what will happen here, as we saw yesterday, Matt, Donovan's just going to stand at midcourt. And in Kobe's honor, he wore 24, he wore 8, and they will take a 24-second shot clock violation. And look at the emotion, the response of this home crowd. That one's for Kobe Bryant.
And now they're going to set it to eight second for his other number. Both those numbers retired at Staples Center and the chant of Kobe you can hear around the building. One team with a 24 second violation. The other team will counter with the eight second call. Still say Boulder, Utah, classiest fans in the NBA.